In this video, I'll show you how to add social sharing buttons like this to your blogs with a view counter and a share counter and also add it to your product pages so that visitors can click the icon and then share your blog or share your product with their contact. We'll use these three plugins to get this done in just three minutes. But before that, you should know that adding more plugins and more content and making your site interactive, all of this slows down your site. And then your visitors will bounce off and Google also punishes you with less visibility. So before we add the social sharing buttons, let's just take a minute. Let's go and add your website to Google PageSpeed. And if the score we receive is less than 90, then it means that our site is already too slow. And we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now, there's a few other speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings, which beginners like me can't understand. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. They've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. After installing Airlift, you just need to add your site. And with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and it's free. So you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Now that we're sure that we don't have a slow site, let me show you how to add social sharing buttons to it. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard, click on plugins, then click on add new. Here you can type social share and you see this one. It's a great free plugin for beginners. So let's install and activate it. Now under the settings option here, you can see the plugin. So click on it. Head over to the standard interface, scroll down to select sharing services. Now you can type in the social media channels you want to add in this search bar, but it's just easier to select from this list. So I'm going to go ahead and select the four or five main ones. You can rearrange the buttons by dragging and dropping the icons in the order you want like this. So scroll down to horizontal alignment and select center, right or left alignment. Now down here, you can also choose where you want to see the buttons either at the top of the content or bottom. So better still just select both. Now the next step is super important because it affects how the visitors are going to see your social sharing button. So just scroll down to placement. And as you can see, there are multiple placement options like homepage, post, pages, and so on. So let's go ahead and select pages and posts both. So this will add buttons to all of your blog posts. Now the buttons will appear square like this, but you can also make them round or a different shape. So I read a blog once by this psychologist Apparently shapes affect people's moods. So squares make them feel trust and circles make them feel kind of affectionate towards the object. If you want to do this, it's quite simple. Just scroll up to the menu bar and go to the theme selection. Under icon preview, choose between circles, square and rectangle. You can see the preview of the icon shape here. So scroll down further and hit save changes. Refresh it and here you can see the buttons. But we're not done yet. I've seen my content perform really well when I also add a share counter like this and a view counter like this. So let me show you how to do that as well. So let's go back to a plugin dashboard, scroll down to placement. And just under this, we have two options. The first is to show share counts. Selecting this will show how many shares you have on each platform, but you won't be able to see the total number of shares. To see that you need to select show total shares. Now you'll display both total shares and a breakdown of shares for each platform. Now we'll install a free plugin called Post Views Counter to show people the view count on the blogs. So let's click on plugins, then add new, search for Post Views Counter, install it, and activate it. Once activated, we're going to have to configure it. So on your WordPress dashboard, find the Post Views settings, click on it. First up, we need to decide where we want our view counts to be visible. So under general settings, in the post types count, Let's select posts because we want our blog posts to show how many views they've gotten. So you can also choose pages if you want to show view counts on your standard pages. Next in the counter mode section, you've got a few options, PHP, JavaScript, and the rest API. I recommend using PHP for its accuracy and simplicity. So we're going to head over to the display settings. This part lets you customize how your view counter looks like on your site. Here you can choose what your counter includes. So you can go for an icon, a label, or both. I'm selecting both for a more detailed look. Now, decide where you want this view counter to show up. I'm choosing to place it after the content. Feel free to pick a position that suits your website. Here's the user type option. This lets you control who sees the view counts. If you want to limit it to certain users, you can, but I'm keeping it open for all visitors. So I won't make any changes here. So once you're happy with these settings, click Save Changes. Now, let's see the plugin in action. Now let's go back to our website refresh it and you can see the social sharing buttons are here 
and there's a share counter and a view counter here as well. Now, if you have products on your site, like let me open a new tab like this, and then you want social sharing buttons here so that if someone clicks, they can get a pop-up and then they can share the product. I'll show you how to do it. You just have to come back to your dashboard and then click on the plugin. Then let's go and click on the standard interface page. Go ahead and select the social media buttons you want. Then scroll down to placement. And here, select WooCommerce product page. Then save changes. Uh, now, if we go back to our product page, click this one and refresh it. We can see that the social sharing buttons are visible here. And if we click on them, then this is how customers can now share your product. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.